G'day and welcome to this week's video. My name is Robert Gowdy from Consortium Private Wealth and this week we're going to have a look at a number of issues in a series of uh, very quick videos that just consider the end of financial year planning and what we can do with our superannuation to help uh, reduce our tax and obviously maximise the amount of money we get into superannuation given that it's a very concessionally taxed environment. So the first video, we're just going to cover off concessional contributions and we'll run through this quickly. Um, and each year, um, as individuals, we all have the ability to go up to a, a, a concessional contribution cap, which is $25,000 per year. So that $25,000 goes into superannuation at a maximum tax rate of 15%. Um, for those that earn over two hundred and fifty thousand, uh, they will be an extra, an additional fifteen percent on top of that. But again, even at that thirty percent, is a, a huge tax saver when compared to the uh, the tax rate of nearly forty nine percent, including the Medicare levy. So, for most people, fifteen percent is what is the superannuation tax they'll pay on the way into their fund, utilizing concessional contributions. Um, it's important to note that as part of that $25,000, the employer contributions of the 9.5% is included in that. Any salary sacrifice that you might be making into superannuation is included in that cap as well. Now, we're right at the end of the financial year. I'm doing this on the, on the 10th of June. So, you know, commencing a salary sacrifice arrangement right now is probably not going to yield uh, much results in terms of reducing your taxable income for this financial year. So you do have the option, everyone's got the option. Previously, only self-employed people had the option to do this, but you can make a, a lump sum, uh, a contribution into superannuation, and that can be seen as a tax deductible contribution. So if you've got $10,000 of cash sitting somewhere else, it doesn't have to be income that's been earned. Uh, you can take five, ten thousand $10,000 worth of cash, contribute that into superannuation as a uh, personal uh, contribution, and then you need to sign what they call um, an intent to claim form, which is telling your superannuation fund that you can uh, you would like to claim that as a tax deduction. They will send uh, an in, uh, a recognition of that uh, that letter that's sent through, um, and that needs to be given to your accountant, and then you can claim that five ten thousand dollars, you know, anywhere up to the twenty five thousand dollars. That that's your limit. So that's something that can be done between now and the uh, the end of the financial year, uh, but these are not strategies to implement on the 30th of June. Uh, these need to be done well prior to that because the money has to physically be in your fund on the 30th of June, prior to the end of the financial year. Thanks for listening. We're going to cover off on non-concessional contributions, spouse contributions, and also the, uh, the government's co-contributions as well. Very good. Thanks for listening, and we'll uh, see you soon.